Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. With that loading screen right there, EA has confirmed that Future Stars is not the next promo coming to FC24. The promo to follow team of the year this year is Road to the Final, and we're going to break it down today. Look at that loading screen, what Road to the Final is, and a new upgrade path for cards this year, along with the first leaks for cards that are going to be coming out on Friday. So we're going to take a look at that, and of course, today is the last full day of Team of the Year, guys. Our last chance to pack Team of the Year. If you haven't given up, um, you know, I don't know if you're close to giving up or not. I'm close, but we have one more day. So I'm going to build another set of hopefully like 40 to 50 upgrades, send a last bit of coins to try to pack a Team of the Year. So all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about yesterday's content to start things off. We had the refresh of SBCs like the 88 plus, the 85 3 attacker, right? Last chances of those SBCs to refresh to do before team of the years go out of packs. But let's talk about the SBC player that dropped yesterday. It was William Saliba. We finally got the Saliba SBC and kind of as expected, it was freaking expensive. I mean, this is on Modric's level, guys. I, it's probably viewed in a little bit better light as Modric because this was an actual stat upgrade compared to the Winter Wildcard Saliba, especially with the Playstyle Plus. I mean, to me, 900,000 coins for a plus one upgrade and a change of a Playstyle Plus is not worth the SBC. But I will say this right now, guys. This is undoubtedly going to be a really insane card in the game. With the Anticipate Plus, he's Saliba. He's got great links. Plus three dribbling, um, I think, actually makes 92 reactions and 89 composure which is pretty nice his passing is solid it's just expensive man 960k for that card is too much for me and that's why he's got a big downvote percentage but people know that he's going to be meta and he's going to be good he's also got a pretty uh decent upvote percentage too for how expensive he is the spc is only out for 14 days so you can't get it done over a long period of time you kind of have to decide either i'm crafting it and putting all my fodder into it from the season rewards and all that um maybe this last upgrade send like right now or soon or um next week but you don't have like 30 days or 40 days like an icon spc to get that one done but yeah man i mean there really really wasn't that much of a market impact i think a couple of center backs from the prem dropped down a price because it is saliba for sure big name player again the links are going to be great some people were asking me should i upgrade blanc to this in my opinion this feels like a kind of more of a sideways movement in terms of like a big upgrade to Blanc. Yeah, he's got better pace. He's got the great playstyle plus. But this is a card that where two player two playstyle plus cards are starting to drop on this game. If you're spending 900,000 coins on an SBC for a card like this, I mean, you can justify it, but it just seems like that might be a card that you end up changing out of your team in like a month or maybe even less, depending on what comes out in Road to the Final, what comes out in maybe Future Stars after Road to the Final. So that's my take on that SBC. Not terrible, but just overpriced, right? But that's the theme of all the Team of the Year SBCs, overpriced, especially for the players. Now, we had one other SBC yesterday that was dropped. Yet again, another upgrade pack. I don't know if you guys have kept tra track, but we've had a new upgrade pack every single day of Team of the Year. Hope that happens today as well. Uh, upgrade pack or player pick. FC Pro Open Finals Upgrade. Um, it's got a weird name, and I guess it's to kind of bring some hype to the Pro Finals event that is going to happen on February 3rd. But what this pack, what this SBC is, is an 84 times 4 pack, and it's really easy to do. It's an 82 squad with 186 inside of it. Really random, but if you get 86, put in some 82s and 81s, and you get yourself an 84-4, which for right now during Team of the Year is pretty nice. Now, also yesterday we had a team of the week and there was a big change with this team of the week the minimum rating for all team of the week cards now is 85 which uh I, I don't even know if ea said that or maybe i missed it inside of the new season but i remember them saying it a couple of months ago in one of the new seasons then that the lowest rating was going to be 83 right i remember that now they've moved it up to 85 rated which is kind of crazy because that means whenever they're requiring informs at least in the future sbcs and even when we do like player picks in the future for the inform team of the player pick that refreshes every week we're going to be getting higher rated cards which actually might be really nice but also makes me wonder are they going to start requiring a lot more of 85 and maybe even 86 rated squads in SBCs down the line because they're going to be giving out higher rated informs instead of like the 83s and the 84s? That's something that we'll have to wait on and see and if that happens or not. But minimum rating of 85 this team of the week, which does, of course, give bigger boosts to cards that are maybe getting their first inform. Um, some of these cards are like bronzes or i don't even know if there's any bronzes but I, I know there's some silvers getting boosted up in this team of the week like plus 15 
It's a pretty crazy upgrade, making it a semi-usable card. So that's something to kind of watch out for with the upcoming Team of the Weeks. One note I want to make, the headliner in this Team of the Week is Graham Hansen. Of course, her Team of the Year card is also out right now. Yes, it is true, guys. They are both in packs. We saw this earlier with her card earlier on this year when her 91 Team of the Week was in packs. And then also for the best of re-release during Black Friday, Thunderstruck, the... Um, Trailblazers Hanson was released as well. Right now, the Team of the Year Hanson is still on the market, still in packs, and so is the Inform. They can have two different special cards in packs now in this game. The Gold card is out of packs, but both of her Inform and the Team of the Year are in packs. So you didn't miss out if you're trying to pack Team of the Year Hanson. Uh, you can still pack her and Inform Hanson from La Liga upgrades and all the other packs that are out. So other than that, I mean, a couple decent cards in here, like Joof looks pretty crazy. Sorloth with Power Shot Plus, his first Inform of the Year, looks nice. Loftus Cheek, I mean, that looks right wing backs, Cam, CDM, center mid. That looks like a potential Evo card in the future uh, once they start allowing us to Evo more higher rated stats, like 87 rated dribbling, 85 rated card overall. So I don't know, just a mid team of the week, but Hanson in there is nice. And that was that was content yesterday, guys. No news. I know yesterday we talked a lot about the whole messy situation, and I'm not letting that get brushed under the rug too fast. Nothing was said yesterday about the 86 plus team of the year leagues player pick it was not refreshed but that kind of goes along with that, what i said in yesterday's video guys is that i don't think we are going to hear ea talk about this anytime soon i, I genuinely don't i think it's going to be probably the last thing that we heard from them uh on that on that and i hope they refresh the pick today i really hope that they do that would be such a nice thing one last chance today at a chance at a team of the year from that player pick again, probably with the fixed odds, right? The pack weight wouldn't be the same and give out all the messies like it did a couple days ago. But I would love that pick to refresh because it was genuinely um, probably our best chance, for, besides a store pack, our best chance of packing a team of the year. One thing I'm just noticing now is the 87 plus hero, I don't know if my timer is glitched, um, but it says it's refreshing in seven hours. And I think that might be because it was released at a weird time after it was glitched. We're still waiting on compensation for that as well. Wouldn't expect that anytime soon. Maybe a couple days. Still could be a week. Who knows? Compensation stuff like that does take a little while, especially when so many people are able to do it like they did and took them an hour and a half to fix that issue last week or earlier this week, I guess it was on Sunday. Now let's talk about what's coming ahead with the loading screen. We'll talk more team of the year at the end of the video. This was the loading screen that, I mean, we thought there might be a loading screen yesterday. We mentioned that in the video yesterday as well. And there was, um, I mean, I'm still a little surprised though. We, we saw the leaks about Road to the Final as the next promo, and it's confirmed. It's just a change from what EA has been doing in the past. I'm pretty sure it's been four years, guys, all the way back to FIFA 19 when we had the first year of Future Stars. I don't know if you guys remember that or not. Future Stars was so hyped right after Team of the Year. It destroyed all the Team of the Year prices back then because Future Stars was such a new concept. You had crazy players that were released, insane stat boost. But that is not our promo this year. And I don't know about you, but especially as somebody who plays this game and kind of likes the repetitive, repetitiveness of some things, like we always look forward to future stars because it's players that you haven't used because they're so low rated. Like, especially being a, Fur a Spurs fan, I was hoping that they were going to do a pop a pop star in future stars, right? I'm still looking forward to a card like this in a promo or whoever it is, maybe for your favorite club, for your favorite team. There's still future stars, I would almost undoubtedly think, in the plans for FC24, but it looks like they're just changing up the schedule a little bit. And I mean, this isn't a terrible promo to change up the schedule with because Road to the Final always brings good stuff because the cards are live. And that's kind of not a bad idea from EA's perspective, at least in my opinion right now too, is follow up a promo that has been kind of disappointing, still team of the year, but a little bit disappointing in terms of the content, the expensive SBCs, with something that gives live and upgrading cards. So on the loading screen, we've got the Champions League, Women's Champions League. We've got the Europa League and the Conference League card designs. Everybody looks at these and goes, Nate, Aren't these the same ones that were released last year? They look almost the same. I mean, they're probably slightly different, but I think EA probably has to fit in some sort of, you know, specific requirements with UEFA. I'm sure they have to, you know, get some deals in there to use their logos and all of that. Just don't get them confused. We're going to have this problem during the entire Road to the Finals promo. People are going to get confused with the Road to the Knockouts card design. Like, remember, we had the Modric, we had the Saka, we had the Holland, right? That's Road to the Knockouts. Road to the Finals have kind of the stars that wrap around the edge of the card. That's the official card design right there. So make sure you kind of um, 
notice the difference between those two. But it starts this Friday, guys. And again, Road to the Final is just like Road to the Knockouts, except it takes us from the knockout stage, which starting in two weeks, um, we have Champions League games. We already have had Women's Champions League games recently. But it's starting in two weeks. Um, these games are going to start back up, and they're going to be live cards to upgrade based on per team performances. Now, the upgrades are different this year from last year. And I want to go through that slightly. There's a couple small changes that actually will, I think, um, actually turn out to upgrade more cards, right? You take a look at Gabriel Jesus, who is a leaked card to come in this promo. You have five different potential upgrades for a club that could start from winning their first knockout game and going all the way to winning the final. These upgrades will take place over a long period of time, and the last couple upgrades at the end here will not be that hype. All of the hype comes in the first couple of games because they're in quick succession, especially that first upgrade, which will happen right as these cards go out of packs. We're looking at win or draw. That's the first upgrade. This is a big change, one of the biggest. Last year, it was just you had to win your first game, and you can see here that City, they drew their first game of the knockouts, and then the second leg, they won to move on, right? And Calvin Phillips did not get upgraded for that. He stayed at 88 rated. This year, even if they draw the first game, they will be able to get upgraded still, which is a nice change. More cards will get upgraded that first week. Because of that, I'm a big fan. First three upgrades are all stat boosts. So you could go from an 89 rated, this is a concept for the ratings, I believe, but an 89 rated Gabriel Jesus, let's say, could all the, go all the way to a 92 in a matter of, I don't know how, how long that would be before you would qualify for the semifinals. Probably, I would, I would imagine it would be like the end of March. But that's not too bad. Like, you think about a Gabriel Jesus that could go from an 89 to a 92 before the like before foot birthday or maybe maybe around the start of team of the year, like the end of March potentially would be when that would be. Like that's not that's not too bad, right? You get three plus one informs. That's pretty cool. And then qualifying for the final gets you a play style plus. That's the only thing that I'm not super hyped about with this. If this is included in the upgrade system, a play style plus addition, to me that means that every single card that is going to be dropped in this promo is only going to have one play style, guys. That's Honestly, a little bit of a problem. They just dropped the team of the years with two play style pluses, even some of the team of the year honorable mentions. And that's kind of where we were hoping to see the power curve progress, right? Is more double play style cards on this game. They didn't give it to all the team of the year honorable mentions. They just gave it to some. They give it to all the team of the years. But I can't imagine that EA would drop a card with two play style pluses and then say, okay, maybe by this time they're going to start adding three play style pluses in the game. But I'm pretty sure the Champions League final... I guess that's in like what April or May. So that is almost team of the season time. Maybe they will do cards with two playstyle pluses, and then this would be like a third playstyle plus and one of the first cards to get that. That would be a cool twist around that time of the year. Um, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm really interested to see what the leaks start looking like. I'm worried though that it might only be one playstyle plus. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And then if you win the final, you get five star skill moves in weak foot, and then yet another upgrade. So a potential for plus four or four in form upgrades, depending on the rating of the card. It could go up more than plus four if it's lower rated. If they go on and win the whole Champions League. So the upgrade path. I like this first one. This first one's going to be very hyped, and these cards are going to have hype because they will get a lot more of them will get upgraded. Like like last year, you can see so many of these cards. Like, yeah, Raspadori got upgraded. Malin didn't. Um, Fofana ended up getting upgraded later on. Forsberg didn't. That, that first game, like last year, was such a big downer because so many of these cards and these teams drew the first game and they didn't get upgraded. So that's one thing that I like about the upgrade path this year. Now, as it was already mentioned, as we mentioned, Gabriel Jesus is leaked to be in this upcoming promo. He had a Thunderstruck card um, that a lot of people like, so we'll be interested to see how much of a boost they give this Gabriel Jesus. A couple more leaks. We have Pedri. He's going to be in this promo as well. Of course, all the big clubs are represented for these guys, just like in Road to the Knockouts. You've got all the top clubs that are in the competitions represented. So Pedri is getting a special. We just had the Gavi SBC. Now we're getting another Pedri. Um, I'm hoping that they make Pedri pretty boosted. I mean, he's got his Centurions card. That was the last promo item that he has and it's 89 rated with tiki taka plus i need this card to have like he needs to get close to 80 d or above 80 defense and they need to give him a pretty pretty good physical boost too like at this stage of the game he's got to get a sizable upgrade but that's a card that is coming out a lot of barca fans will be excited for that although they're not having a great time at the moment with the team and, and everything there uh, Rafael Legal is leaked to come as a road to the final as well. These are kind of like just the first leaks. These are all predicted stats for those three players. 
Um, he hasn't had a promo card since team the group stage, but EA also kind of puts in... You think of, like, the players that are in these live card promos. They try to put in some more marquee players um, and try to put in players that will sell packs for sure, but also that just are hyped and pretty meta in game. So he's getting a new promo card. That's his third of the year, I think. Um, yeah, Trailblazers, Team of the Group Stage, and now that. So another version of Rafael Leal. But what's interesting is, I know these are predicted stats and everything, guys, but as we take a look at this leak, this gives us real insight into this promo because these are official cards. These were leaked by UEFA. They're every year, the UEFA Champions League Twitter account always tweets out a headlight or a highlight of some of the cards that are coming to Ultimate Team soon with the new promo. And I think they messed up yesterday and posted these cards a day early. So maybe watch out today on their socials for them to actually post this and it actually stay there. Um, but I believe it was posted somewhere and it was deleted. Javi Simons, Galino, and Mikel Marino. Guys, looking at these cards, I know that they're from clubs that maybe you wouldn't expect to have, like, the biggest chance of winning Champions League, but those cards do not look that great. Galino with pace, 74 passing, though. Like, mmm. Uh, Javi Simons, he looks decent. I don't even know how much of an upgrade that is over his um, Trailblazers card, but that, just, that looks okay. Um, unless these cards are really cheap, which I can't imagine all of them are going to be really cheap because they're live. Like, you know, uh, Gabriel Jesus with Arsenal, right? They're not, hey, that's not going to be a cheap card. Even Pedri, even Rafael, yeah, that's not going to be cheap, right? These are live and upgrading. There's a lot of hype for that. The market's doing great right now with so many coins on this game. Team of the years or Virgil van Dyke's like 14 million coins. It's ridiculous, right? So um, I don't have a ton of hype for this based off of the cards. But I would love to be surprised. So I'm kind of withholding my hype levels, at least right now. I was thinking that I might save some packs. If we were actually going to get future stars, I was thinking that I would maybe save some of these league-specific upgrades. But as I look at some of the leaked players right now, I'm like, hmm, none of them super interest me. Maybe if they interest you, it could be a decent idea to go stock through a couple of Prem or whatever league you're looking for. Especially if there's a League One, like if a PSG player is really cracked, might want to go stock up on one of those. Maybe... Some of the on the women's side as well, since these packs are men and women specific for those top five leagues and then NWSL MLS, um, maybe look into that depending on who gets leaked to be in the road to the knockouts promo. If there's like a couple cards that fit that you would maybe want for your team, men's, women's, PSG, another Lyon player for like Basha links or uh, Renard links. If you have their team of the year or the SBC for Basha, something like that could come into play. So keep an eye on the leaks. Um, keep an eye on more of those. I believe they will be coming today, official and probably unofficial as well. So watch out for that. But yeah, that's kind of the promo guys. I mean, the upgrade path, like I mentioned, is a little bit better because you get more upgrades straight away. But those cards are going to have to be at least they're going to be more packable than team of the years. I mean, that's that's no question, but they're going to have to be pretty packable, I think, for it to be hype. And EA is going to have to boost those cards up a bit. And also, man, I would love to be surprised and see two play style pluses on some of those. I mean, maybe not all of them, but if EA does not start incorporating two play style pluses in these next couple of promos, like those team of the years are going to stay stupid expensive. And, um, because there's going to be nothing that kind of competes with them. Like production wise, value wise on the pitch. We have more price range updates coming in. Pop was updated in price from 1.9. She's now like two and a half million coins. If you got an Allison earlier in the week when we shouted him out on stream, I think, or maybe even here in the YouTube video saying like 500K was a good price for him. He's flying on the market. Ruben Diaz is like 4 million coins now. All these team leaders just keep flying. And with the way that this promo looks, they might. I want to talk about the market impact for a second, especially with honorable mentions, because if there's anything that looks investable right now with the state of prices, it's not the team of the years. If you want to buy a team of the year, go for it, because it doesn't look like they're going to tank with this promo. But what it does look like is that these cards could rise. And I think today could bring a buy window if you haven't bought in on any of them to go ahead and do so. I think more people are going to be interested in buying these cards today because of how that promo is looking right now, right? I still have the Dianis I picked up at 530. Still have the Musiala at 300. Um, Kane is up a little. Trent's actually down a little bit. Silva's the same price. Kim and Jay and Salah and Federico Valverde and Vinny. Wow, three mil for Vinny. There's been cards that have started to take off, right? It's those rare ones that we kind of shouted earlier on the week and like Sunday, Monday that I thought would go up like Kim and Jay, Diani, Salah. They have gone up a lot. So with those, I think you're fine to just keep holding. But especially for like Trent, Musiala, Bernardo Silva, like you look at this card with two play style pluses and you compare it to this, like who's going to sell Bernardo Silva to go use this Javi Simons? 
don't think many people will. Yeah, he's got pace, but Bernardo Silva's got two playstyle pluses and 95 dribbling. That's still an insane card. Trent with whip pass plus can play in the midfield. A lot of Liverpool hype right now with how well they're playing as well. I mean, all this stuff looks like it's primed to at least rise a little bit in the next couple of days. So if you're kind of get back in, into the more market mood, uh, I know I'm ripping more packs today. One final send pack a team of the year, but... Um, if you're getting into the more of the market side of things, watch these cards. If there's dips at rivals or at marquee matchups today, could be another time to get in. And then, guys, uh, for the rest of the market, we'll talk about fodder in a second. For the rest of the market, too, just look around. Um, like, here's a, here's a perfect example. This 489 Hugo Sanchez, that's mine. It's on my transfer list right now. I literally bought Hugo Sanchez 10 minutes before recording this video for 437,000 coins. And I have just now listed him up at 489 to see if he will sell. I hope that he does. He's a rare card that has gone up a lot in the past, what, since Monday. He's gone from 430 and he's just bounced up recently. But, I mean, before a team of the year or during team of the year, he was 380K, right? He's really started to explode. That shows me there's demand for a card like this. And the market has coins and people are going and buying these sorts of cards. Trade with this stuff. And I know it's like, Nate, dude, his price is up so much. Don't you like not want to trade with him? No, it's actually the opposite. You want to catch a card that is still like this card might have just had a rarity spike. Adiyami has been between like 200 and 220 every day and he just went to 2 280. I think he's going to come back down to be like 200k again. But you want to find these cards that are rare, that are out of packs, that have actually started to go up a little bit already in value like Laudrup. Great card to trade with unbelievable he's been going up really nice since uh last week of team of the year i bought him for 200 i think it was on sunday or something um even yesterday he was as low as 217 and as high as 232 he's up in the 235 range right now just watch the out of packs market because i think there's so many i there's so many opportunities for fluctuation trading here for these cards that people want to use maybe you see a leak for a card that's going to come out maybe you you see this hey zeus you're like okay maybe some arsenal players could move um especially with saliba some people might be crafting rafael yeah just watch for some of the other leaks but watch the out of packs market because it is a gem of a place right now and let's talk about fodder fodder is kind of the opposite all right i really do believe that fodder is kind of the opposite um, of like the meta market right now, obviously in the, in the fact that it's not really investable that you're going to trade with it. Um, it's just once people stop doing the upgrade pack grind and they stop doing as, the SBCs as much, I think this fodder is going to start to drop guys. Neymar is the cheapest 89 rated card in this game. 48 K. Wow. 89s are almost 50,000 coins a piece. That is crazy. 88s are 32 thousand coins and 87 is the only ones that are on the market did they update these price ranges 27k for rolfo wow okay so i don't know if some of these cards are extinct or if they actually updated price ranges on 87s because 21k is higher than a lot of them could go before um yeah i'm pretty sure they were maxed out at like 18k but they're up to 24,000 coins 25k for a couple of them on the spike yesterday this is more of a sell to me anything that is 86 and above in terms of fodder is more of a sell to me than anything right now because I just think that um, a lot of your high rated SBC demand is going to start to tail off. I think we're in the peak of the demand for the 86 pluses. Maybe today's a decent day to start to sell some of that off. We're going to get lightning rounds this weekend for Road to the uh, Finals. That's going to supply the market a bit. Um, maybe they'll actually run like the 84 times 10 lightning round again. It seems like they were still scared again yesterday to run the good lightning rounds. And uh, I don't think they're even going to run anything too crazy today on this game either. Um, but I think that they would be okay with supplying fodder a lot more uh, this next week. There will still be SBCs there. Fodder will still fluctuate. If it drops a ton, we can get in. But for right now, it feels like it's more at a high point than a low point. For sure. Now let's talk about Thursday today. Last day of team of the year, right? Last day to open a pack, open upgrade packs or whatever. Um, can the 30 coin pack come back one last time? That'd be nice. Just uh, just a side, side point there. But guys, last opportunity for EA to drop that three team of the year honorable mentions guaranteed pack. Will they drop that pack today as a last chance FOMO opportunity for people to open a pack before team of the years and honorable mentions and icons go away? I feel like there's a slight chance. I'm not going to say yes. It seems very EA to maybe want to do that, but I just don't know if they're going to do it, guys, because they have not, like we've talked about recently this week, they have not gone 100% with the store. Like we know there's packs they could be putting out that they've been withholding. And so we'll see what happens with that today. But today's the last day, full day at least, 
to try to pack some of these cards. So good luck if you're you're grinding, if you're crafting and all that. I will be continuing to rip packs because I didn't pack anything yesterday, man. I opened the 8310 and or 8320 and 8310 from the um, crafting objective. So many of these 81 plus doubles, which by the way, I have been getting better fodder. I will say this. I'm a little bit excited to open premiums again today because I opened a La Liga premiums and I packed Oblak three times yesterday and I had not packed him at all earlier on this week. So um, I've started rinsing into 81 plus doubles because the guaranteed rating packs seem to just maybe have a little bit more juice than some of the other ones. So that's kind of what I'm rinsing through. I'm still buying gold rares for 650, putting them into the La Liga and Prem premiums, doing one last send and trying to finish off Davies, the icon pick and that today. And Hopefully going to see that blue flare, man. It's been escaping me. And, I mean, yesterday I was getting tired. If you guys were in the stream, I was getting tired of opening these packs. But today I got got a little bit more in me, all right? got a little bit more in me because I want to finish Davies. And I just, the last day of Team of the Year today, this is the day that I packed Team of the Year Van Dyke last year. And I got to at least give myself a shot. You never know when it's going to be one pack that just makes the difference. Why not? Let's rip up. Uh, this is from Weekend League Rewards last weekend. 125K. Yeah, nothing crazy. Maybe a double walkout, but we skip anything that's not blue right now. Usi Bronze, tradable. Might as well sell that, but we need that for the fodder. Yeah, that was that was pretty mid. But we'll craft that on the SBCs. Now, there are a couple SBCs that are refreshing today. Uh, like we already mentioned, the hero player pick is coming back. The 82 times 20, uh, which isn't terrible. A couple people have mentioned to me in the past day or two that they've packed good cards from the 82 20. I got a couple of double walkouts from the ones that I had opened up yesterday. So make sure you're getting that done as well as it refreshes if you're still crafting. And I don't know if anything else refreshes today. The 86 plus upgrade. Really weird on the timer. I don't know if that comes back. Again, I really hope they release the um, 86 plus player pick, the glitched one today. But um, yeah, I don't think I have a ton of hope for that, just to be completely honest. But I'm going to go buy some more gold players, get the coins lower just a little bit more. And if I don't pack anything, uh, if I don't pack anything today on Thursday, then I might just might send the 500k pack here in the store if le legit if i don't pack a team of the year i didn't spend as much on upgrade packs as i thought that i would and uh you might be you might want to be in the stream friday morning because we might be ripping a buzzer beater 500k pack just in case because this is the pack that gives you the highest percentage chance of packing it blue so that's 500k down the drain but I might risk it, man. That's how desperate we are for a team of the year right now, at least for TFA. So that's the video for me today, guys. Uh, get those qualifiers played. Get ready for Weekend League. Make sure you got the bronze squads up when you're opening packs. And I'll see you guys today in the stream. If you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you do. It's been Nathan Foot Account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace.